Let's talk handicapping twice. We'll talk about the Clarence House, first of all, and whether it should be um, moved back to a, to a handicap. This has been debated quite a lot. I'm sort of reheating a fairly, a fairly old pie here, Lee, but I think it's worth another airing. Yeah, would it would it make life better if, as Kevin Blake and others have suggested, that we ran most of these races outside the the very top grade ones as uh, as handicaps? But what I'm suggesting in, in the in the column tomorrow, and not for the first time, is that I think with, with the two mile division in particular, you have a, a real case in point of an area where we've just gone too far one way. If you went back to the the 1980s, which often people think of as a heyday of jumping the desert orchid, Borough Hill Laddie area. Um, in the two-mile division, all the major races prior to the Cheltenham Festival yeah. were handicaps. The Tingle Creek was a, a limited handicap. What is now the Desert Orchid Chase, but was then the Castleford Chase, was a handicap before coming uh, a grade one, and Pearly Man carried 12 stone, seven to in that, Bathurst Boy carried 12 stone. The Victor Chandler was a handicap, famously first one by Desert Orchid, and the Game Spirit mm. was a handicap. They're now all level weights, or in the case of the new race, grade two uh, weight for age contest, and they, they therefore inevitably um, attract s a f smaller fields. And we're also, we've got a smaller pool of horses to go for them. If you look at most Arkles uh, until relatively recent, you'd have 13, 14, 15, 16 runners. Now six, seven or eight. Partly because you've got a JLT, but that tends to attract more two and a half mile, three miles anyway. I don't think we need to have revolution, but I do think you can make a good argument to say that the Clarence House in particular would be better run as a limited handicap, 150 grand race. For those people that didn't want to run a, an Alta in there, you've got the Desert Orchid beforehand, you've got a great one at Leopardstown in two weeks, another example of just too many of these races. And to say that the good horses can't run in these races, well, the Victor Chandler in particular, two years before it became a grade one level weights race, well chief won it, carrying uh, top weight and running off 176. So you get good, there's no reason why a good horse can't or shouldn't carry top weight in a handicap. It's good for racing. Do you think I'll be able to read your column tomorrow in two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, you, you want to read it again and again and again, Nick. Of course. Of course. <laughs>